is an annual gaming festival held here at Anglia Ruskin University. It's now in its fifth year. This year we started on Friday with a number of workshops designed to help students develop games. We then ran a symposium which had a keynote speech from Ian Livingston. I'm giving a keynote which is uh, really a reflection of my whole life in games and how I've seen it move from an analogue world to a digital world and how exciting it is now. You know, it's great to see the celebration of games empowering the next generation of creative people to have the digital skills and the finance and the backing and the support to make games because it's an explosive industry. And also with the support of BAFTA ran a Question Time panel event. So the Cambridge Games Elite came down on Friday evening to take questions from the floor. Brains Eden is hugely important to us. It's the key event where we uh, actually get to meet and hopefully recruit a whole load of new graduates. Um, and quite importantly for us, we get to meet uh, universities from across the UK and across Europe now and actually hopefully influence um, the design of games courses, design art, programming in the years to come. The Games Jam happens across the weekend. Teams have come from across Europe and the UK to Anglia Ruskin University. We've got 31 teams creating new games. I'm Dan and I'm with Placeholder Games. Well, this is our third time coming back, every time we do a little bit better. Well, the theme's mountains. You have a choice between either making the mountains part of the game mechanic or literally just just an artistic thing. We chose to make a game about literally climbing a mountain. It's still really early in development. Right now, the developer guys are working on a concept build. What we want to do is just sort of push, push the tablet a little bit and find out exactly what it's capable of. We're called Split Part, our team, and we're five people. Um, I'm one of the designers. It's, it's um, my first time doing Brain Z or anything similar. We're doing a very sort of simple game because uh, we're aiming for the tablet as well. So uh, we're trying to do simplistic, aesthetically nice, and just one control, one button function, trying to make it as um, replayable as possible, essentially. On Monday, we have a whole showcase of students and games artwork collected from the studios and the universities themselves. This is a really great opportunity for students to get involved, show their work and also meet industry professionals. So my name is Felix Hillsley and um, I'm a senior animator at Frontier and I've been um, giving careers advice to lots of students from here and elsewhere. I thought I would be talking to people specifically about an animation route but actually it reminds me of when I was a student where I didn't really know where to go and uh, what to do and what discipline to go into and I've been able to tell people um, you know a bit about each discipline, let them maybe work it out for themselves. And we finish off the day by recognising the hard work that all of the students have put in and we host a, an award ceremony. So the winning team this year will receive four week paid internships at Sony Gorilla Cambridge. The runners up get to come on a tour of the Cambridge Game Studios and this year we've launched Be Mobile. Working with ARM we've been able to give the students mobile tablets to develop their games on. Many of those students go on to secure internships and jobs within the industry on the back of Brains Eden. Brains Eden is fantastic. People get to come along and find out what they want to do with their lives. In 48 hours the guys create some fantastic games. 